Here's a challenge from Wallet in London. He said had the following question on his math homework at St. Paul's School. And the challenge was, in your head, what is the product of the prime numbers between 2 and 19 inclusive? So here it goes. Let's try to do it. You think that's cool? Because I do. So prime numbers are numbers that can only be multiplied by one and itself. So five's a prime number because you can only multiply it by one and five. Twelve's a prime number, or not a prime number, because you can multiply six times two. You can multiply three times four. You can multiply one times 12. There's a whole bunch that are not prime numbers. The prime numbers two through 19 would be 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. Now, I'm going to stop the video right here to let you try to multiply these numbers in your head. And when you want to and think you have it, you can press play and see if you're correct. So, have you finished the problem? If you have and you think you're correct, write down in the description what your answer is. I'm going to give you a few seconds to do that right now. Okay, so now we're going to start solving the problem. In my math class, my teacher, Mr. H, taught us about the commutative property, so it makes it easier to multiply prime numbers mentally. So for this one, we're going to start out with 17 times 19. With distributive property, we can multiply 17 times 19 as 17 times 20 minus 17 times 1. Because 19 equals 20 minus 1, or yeah, 17 times 20 is 340. 17 times 1 is 17, obviously. So now all we have to do 340 minus 17 is 323. So now we're going to tackle 323 times 13. 13 is just 10 plus 3. So 323 times 13 is just 323 times 10, which is 3,230, plus 323 times 3, which is 969. 969 is 31 less than 1,000. So 3,230 plus 1,000, or 4,230 minus 31, or 4,199. So, now we're gonna multiply 4,199 times 11. We can use the multiply by 11 trick, so, it's going to end with the 9 and begin with the 4. So, if then we need to add the numbers, the beef, like I like to call it, in between to get what's in the middle. So, the second to last number is going to be 8, because 9 plus 9 equals 18. We carry the 1, which makes... The next number, a 1, as 9 plus 1 plus 1 is 11. So, carry the 1, so that gets us 6, because 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6, obviously. So, now, it starts with the 4, so in reverse order, it would be 4, 6, 1, 8, 9. 46,189. Whew, I'm sweating. We're halfway there. Now, we're going to move on to 46,189 times 7. So, there's no easy trick for multiplying by 7. So, all we're going to do is just split up 46,189 into 40,000, 6,180. And nine and just multiply each times seven. So forty thousand times seven is two hundred and eighty thousand. Six thousand times seven is forty two thousand. And if we add those two up, that would be thirty-five thousand eight 
322,000. 100 times 7 is 700. So, 80 times 7 would be 560. So, in total, we have, let me, okay, so we have 323, Two six zero, so three thousand two hundred or three hundred twenty-three thousand two hundred sixty, and now we just have to add the final seven times nine or sixty-three, which gives us three two three three two three three two three three two three. Kind of cool, right? We're almost there. We have like what three or a few more steps. So. All we have to do now is multiply 323, 323 times 3. So that would be 969, 969. Now all we have left is 2 and 5. 2 times 5 is 10. So now we did it. Our final number would be 9,699,000. 690. We did it! So, with basic property usage and a bit of mental math, we can multiply 2 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 11 times 13 times 17 times 19, which equals 9,699,690. Do you think that's cool? Cause I do.